In this video, we're going to talk about force gauges. So this right here is one example of a force gauge. This is made by a company called Mark 10. They're a, a great little company. They make a lot of different uh, force gauges that look a lot like this. They also make some uh, some torque sensors as well. Um, we've used them for many years and have been happy with their products. Um, but this is not a, a brand review. This is a product or a, a, a instrumentation force gauge review. So let's talk about force gauges. What does a force gauge do? Well, it measures force. And uh, this particular unit and many uh, force gauges will measure force in both tension and compression. In fact, this one you can change the mode so that it, it tells you um, either tension or compression. Right now it says RT, that's real time, so it'll tell me, you know, I'm pulling on it right now with 0.7 pounds of tension, and now I am pushing on it with 0.9 pounds of compression, a pound of compression. So anyway, it at real time gives you, you know, both. Uh, but you can set it so that uh, peak compression, so right now I'm uh, compressing right, uh, and then if I pull on it, it doesn't do, it doesn't do anything. And if I push harder, now it goes up the, uh, so anyway, it gives you your peak compression. Same thing with peak tension, right? I can zero that out and there's my tension, pull on it harder, 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 and it gives you your tension. So a, a force gauge is used to measure force, whether it's in compression or tension. And a lot of force gauges will come with a variety of, of little like tip attachments. So this is just, you know, a flat tip that you can, screw on a uh, very very basic right you, you, have, you have a hook you have this little extension bar and uh, a, a point like a conical tip so these are all very basic um, uh, attachments but um, there are a lot of uh, more sophisticated attachments as well that are better suited to very specific applications for example like if you wanted to I don't know do, do a, a peel test with an adhesive backed um, film, there's a, a, a mounting attachment that would, would grasp that film very well. There, there are some general pinchers or anyway, there are a lot of different attachments that you can buy for these things. But um, in general, uh, force gauges are used to, to, to measure force. Um, let's say that you wanted to measure the amount of force required to press fit a, a dowel pin into a hole. You could, you could use the force gauge you know, to say with my finger is the dowel pin, you could use the force gauge to push that pin in and measure how much force was required. Or, you know, there, there are a thousand or a million different applications for which you might want to measure force. But when you want to measure force, this is the way to do it. Um, and again, this is just one example. There are many different form factors. This one is, is um, well, hand, hand hold size. But there are uh, other types that are really small, you know, down like this, this large or so, and different shapes. There are these little button load cells that are very small, and um, uh, we'll maybe do another video looking at a few different types of, of uh, force gauges, um, but uh, that's a, a quick intro anyway. If you found this content helpful, Consider enrolling in our signature program at mypipelineacademy.com. Whether you're an individual interested in beginning a new career as a mechanical designer or a company interested in training your new engineering hires, our signature program helps students develop the practical skills they need to be productive mechanical design engineers. Seating is limited. We hope to see you there soon.